You've raised a very good point. If women had their way, they probably would stay home. But if they had to check my people, would that, what, I mean, were you thinking about things like this? Because I know you, for example, you left your job because, I mean, the kind of particular job because you wanted to be more available for your family. Yeah. How many men think like that? Aren't men responsible too? No, I think, I, I think, you know, I'll push back a little bit on that. I think there are a lot more, more men than think that, like, you know, than not. You know, because people are... A lot are, more men, a lot are men who, who are helping their wives. Uh, okay, maybe, 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 I'm, be, maybe I'm being US-centric. <laughs> maybe I'm being US-centric and I apologize, but, you know, I... I, I because in the US, you have no choice. Yes, you you have can't no choice. hire people yeah. like you hire here. But, but, but one thing I want to point out, you know, because you did say that how many women would take the time Absolutely, to, to do feel, this. Yeah. And I, I think that's a, a perception that is not accurate because when women want to get visa for their children or when they get admission for their children, they feel all they kinds of kids forms. Abroad. Or when they want to have their kids, they feel all kinds of, they jump through all kinds of loops. So it depends on where your priority lies. I mean, I think I would jump through any loop to make sure that my family is secured. So feeling for what does it take to get an NIM is on a website. What does it take to take a picture, click, upload? What does it take to get a guarantor who is probably a father or a brother or a sister? So that if you do something, I, pre I can give it to the police and they apprehend What are the legal implications of it? What right do we have to take pictures of our help or whatever and put it? Yeah. Well, the, well, the, same, the single, same legal right that you know, the passport office has when they ask you for your passport and they upload it. You know, and the thing is, if it's freedom of information, one of the things that we could say is you know, get consent. And that might be one of the terms of employment. You know, um, you give you sign all you sign away all kinds of waivers when you want to to do things. You know, and you know the same thing would apply. You let them give you consent to to share. But I wonder how practical practicable that is. Where the ones that live here, you know, I wonder how practicable that is. Where, uh, like you said, we hire because we are actually in need. Yeah. You know, they're desperate. Yeah, we need, they're desperate. They're Most times they're desperate. Out. Maybe your your husband gets up and leaves. For example, you come and he's just gone. Yeah. How can women be helped in that kind of situation? Well, the thing is, there are agencies. And before you even use the agents, who are the agents that you are using? Because there are a lot of agents. Some of these, like she said, they are pimps. Are we really that desperate, really? Are we are really asking, that Are we that desperate or should we be that desperate? Yeah, exactly. Really? Should we be that desperate? Because yes, the most have... he said the, mo the most valuable thing to you are the children. They, well, they have, have to children. eat. Their school fees have to be paid. You should have said that. Yes. We do know. We know that. Ways. There are many ways around it. And the Tell thing me is, some of the ways around it. Find help. <laughs> find help. Then For the right kind how of about help. right kind of help? Then cut your coats. Hmm. Really cut your coats. Then, you see, we can actually have it all, but not at the same time. You have to know when there's a time for when you have your children, when you, if you decide to start having kids, you know you need to create that time for them. Because this is not just about housework is at home, make food for me, and look after these children, make sure they don't break anything. That is not really it. Because that is their formative years when you are giving them home training. Mm -hmm. Look at our children now that we're complaining about the thugs outside, male and female, and everything they are doing, codeine and all these kind of drugs that is happening. We are not at home. We are making money. Look at the women. There are more women walking so even now. So you're not in the office. You are out hustling, like she you said. You are out are hustling. And, and you know something else I found? Even the stay-at-home moms, they are not spending quality time with the children. Why? They are on social media. No, we laugh about it. But the quality of time that we're actually spending with these children is very... Very, very little. very little. There was some research I read some because I do a lot of writing around this whole parenting thing. And some children said that they, are, they think that their parents, are, their moms particularly, are more in love with Facebook than them. Nigerian children? Or Nigerian, Yubo children? Nigerian children. <laughs> you will surprise you that there are schools here where children are saying that their parents love their jobs more than them. So what this is telling me is that whether we are working outside or in the house, whether we are housewives or not, right, we still need support if we want to raise a good kind of family. And the support is beyond, you know, somebody's cooking my food. Who is doing it for me oh, is important. The quality of the, the quality. question. So if, is it going to cost me anything, for example, if I, was going to, if I was going to use a service like Check My People? Absolutely not. You know, um, and one thing I also want to point out, there are good workers out there. Yeah. Okay, because you just have to find them. Yeah. So they are like diamond in the shelf. You know, you have to find them. But we don't want the, the bad workers to infiltrate the system. I want the situation, the, the ideal situation is where a worker will say to a new employer, I am good. Check, check me out and check my people and see my record. And everybody they've worked with say, this guy is exemplary. 
that should be the ideal situation. So this people like that can get. Exactly. This is not only for household. It's not only for household, but it's for low cadre staff because we know that it takes a lot more. It's more intricate to hire senior staff because there are other only low cadre staff. Yeah, that's like household staff. Drivers, you know, even organizations, even the boutique person. You have cashier. You have store clerk. Those are people handling your money. Those are people handling your stuff. So you have to be sure that the person you, you know, you have to give them an incentive to be good. I, I think what attracted why I said I would invite you to be on the show was the fact that, first of all, the, the, the control is in my hands. Yes. But the fact that I hire somebody today, I can tell her, if you're good to me, the future is the, the I mean, the future is bright because I'll give you a good recommendation. You know, you're thinking beyond, because I personally don't hire people for long I mean, I don't know if that's crazy. I don't want to have a, a cook or a driver that is with me for 10, 20 years. I don't see why they should be moving on and improving their lives or whatever. So, I mean, I don't know what you think about that, either but both of you, the women. I'm not asking you. Yes. <laughs> well, right uh, now, I don't have a domestic help. My kids are grown. They actually told me they don't want, they don't want anymore. Mm -hmm. They're grown, so all of us just do what we need to do in the house. Then once in a while, I get somebody to just come and do a general cleaning. But we all do the stuff ourselves. Mm -hmm. My girls can cook. One is 14, one is um, 10. Mm -hmm. They can cook. I cook. My husband, my, my husband cooked all through the weekend. So, I mean, it, it, it's just something that... I, I grew up with house elves. I, 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 I do have a driver. That's I grew up with house elves. <laughs> I grew up with house elves all, all my life, you know. So I, I know how that works. You know, the house elf, we had like two, three growing up. And... Right now, I don't want to do that. I did that when my kids were really, really young because I was working, I was running my own business, I needed it, but I don't need it anymore. But some people do need it. And if you do need it, please make sure you do the right thing and get the support system. Get a support system. If you, if you don't, we can't know everything. Honestly, there's a lot of things we always think, oh, I'm supposed to know. Like you're supposed to sit down, oh, something is supposed to download in your head. Anyway, thank you for technology. The, what, what I'm hearing all of you say is that technology has made it possible for us to at least take control. I mean, Easy Shop is there, Lagos Moms is there, but more exciting to me today, personally, is the fact that I can control, you know, the fact that it's not like a face. If I make my house help understand or my driver know that, you know, putting your information there is for your benefit as well as mine, then it works. But we can't change the fact that women have to work, yes. right? Yes. They have to work, whether at home or not at home. Whether they need help is a different case. Our kids are grown, they don't need help. Your kids are still young, you still need help. You know, your kids are grown, you don't need, I don't know why I didn't check my people. <laughs> but thank you anyway for giving us this service and thank you all for coming on the show, I appreciate it. And yet again, I thank all those who are watching because the truth is the control can be in your hands if only you want to check your people. And don't be a superwoman, I want to do everything yourself. Find help, find help. We'll see you again next week, bye. We need to take photos, please. I record like it's live. I think we should sit, let's sit. I like that sitting angle just now. Where would I sit? Okay. Why are we putting the guy in the corner? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>